This is your man Vodafly, got my guy with me. Showtime SP to nobody that knows bodies. Bow! And guess who we got in the areas? Load of luck, you know what's up when we roll enough. Thursday on D10 o'clock news. Hold up! You guys get this work! Hold up! Hold up! You niggas gonna get this work, you hear me? You know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Hope you and your friends kick it. I can rap with y'all for like 10 minutes. I got some things to do, but wanted to drop by, tell your mama I said hi. Shout out to my brother, Showtime SP. He will be by tonight. We're going to go in depth talking about Loaded Lux versus Rum Nitty. If you did not see, the Ultimate Rap League did drop. The announcement, people started talking about it. I seen the video with Geechee Gotti smack Rum Nitty respectfully. And then, you know, they announced the date, June 8th. Gnome is going to be going down. Gnome is always a pretty big event. Hopefully, there be some dope-ass battles on it. But led by none other than Loaded Lux versus Rum Nitty. I'm glad I got to see Loaded Lux. The news interview will be out tomorrow at 1045. And they're dropping it at night because Loaded Lux has a huge audience and fans will be able to see it more so five o'clock in the evening a lot of people are getting off work things like that so i really they really we i spoke to the producers today you know what i'm saying they really want this episode to be viewed so tomorrow night thursday night 10 45 you can go to fox5ny.com on the website. If you're in the New York area, you can turn it to Fox 5. But for most people, you know what I'm saying, if you're not in the New York area, you can go to fox5ny.com and you can hit the live at 1045. And you'll get to see the interview with myself, Showtime XP, and Loaded Lux, you know what I'm saying? Like, he was able to stop through. He was swinging in the areas, you know what I'm saying? And we got to talk about his career, his highlights, everything that he's had going on, you know what I'm saying, as far as being one of the leading battle rap MCs that helped elevate and build a culture when it first got started to now, you know what I'm saying? And it's always good, you know what I'm saying? That's like a bucket list thing. Like an interview with Loaded Lux is like something everybody, I don't care who you are or what you do in battle rap, an interview with Loaded Lux is definitely gotta be bucket list because he's one of the biggest people to ever do this before, you know what I'm saying? Like ever throughout his history. So I was glad I got to talk to him. Uh, he is preparing for Rum Nitty. He said that, yo, he <laughs> prepared, prepared to be prepared for what's aware. I found out a lot of things about him. I do have an overtime interview, which is about 45 minutes long. Where we just got into pretty much everything from his bars, uh, you know what I'm saying, to battles that I felt like he won. I think I talked to him about when he wore like five outfits versus Charlie Clips. Like, you know, you know how we do. Like, we really, really got to it. And y'all are going to be excited for that. So if they're dropping... The interview with him tomorrow will drop overtime, which is the interview with Lux, Friday, probably around 5, 6 in the evening. I'll drop that because I do have the full interview back from my man Scrap. Shout out to Scrap. He does all of the editing and the production shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm sure that that's going to be good. I actually watched it already. So you're going to want to you're going to want to see it. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I am LoadedLux.com. The deluxe package, you know what I'm saying? I had told y'all I got the shirts and all of that, you know what I'm saying? He looked out for the cookout, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to him for that. But dog, let's get that out the way. You got Rum Nitty, you know what I'm saying? I told you when I saw you, Rum Nitty is not about to play with you. You know how you know how Rum Nitty get, get busy. So I'm going to really, really have a dope conversation with my man Showtime SP tonight about that because I do feel like, and I feel like, you know what I'm saying? That's something that we need to, uh, that's a fable that needs to get chopped. You know what I'm saying? Because Rum Nitty, you know what I'm saying, is a monster. He battled, he ain't been back. He's not one of the ones that's been battling every single week. You know what I'm saying? I do want to talk about that. <clears throat> it's not a lot of excitement in battle rap. And I see people talking about different events going on. I seen John John talking about not enough. He didn't see the blogs for his event that's going down. Politics as usual. I did do more than one blog. I talked about it yesterday. I'll talk about it again real quick. You know what I'm saying? The promotion for that event by like a lot of media ain't really been there. I said that. I was like, yo, he's flying people there and I don't really see a lot of the promotion. Make sure that, you know, a lot of people talk about that, break that down, recap that and push that. Because I do feel like that's a dope card. I do feel like it's some really good matchups on there. But I know how certain fans are. You know what I'm saying? As far as with uh, battles, if they feel like, you know, who's going to show up, who's not going to show up, who's going to be choking, shit like that. And, I, and we've said it in different blogs. The main event is John John versus Cal. I do have John John winning 2 1, but when you have a situation where Cal just had a bad battle versus Reed not too long ago, it's hard to look past that when you're promoting a new product. That's why I say with all these battles, week, 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 
it's kind of hard to stay in tune or stay engaged or to get excited when a nigga that's the main event on one car is battling again next week. <laughs> or some niggas is battling within seven to 10 business days. It's like, yo, <laughs> how can I really be super geeked for it? I think that is a thing, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'll ask the people out there, jump in the comments. Do you get excited or are you excited with a lot of these joints that's just happening every week? I say it's the microwave era, you know what I'm saying? Where we used to get slow cooked events where people would battle once or twice or three times a year. Those MCs are not battling <laughs> once a month, once every three weeks. It's like, man, that shit is, it's a lot. It's a lot, it's, I'm just saying, it's a, it's a lot going on. I know the money, the money, gotta be the money, you know what I'm saying, because the money got to be gone because niggas is moving. Nobody wants to battle every week, I promise you. Nobody, it's, it, it, for the mind, I don't think anybody wants to do that. But, you know, it is what it is. A lot of events are going down. I definitely make sure that we peeping them and staying in tune with what's happening too. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, it's a lot of dope battles that's going to happen, and I do hope to see some dope performances. But like I said, uh, Noam has been announced um, June 8th. You know, for URL, they need a good Noam. A good Noam would definitely help set the tone. You know what I'm saying? By but not forcing niggas on us that have not been doing good. You know what I'm saying? You got to reward the rewards. Jerry West is a motherfucker that we should we should see Jerry West. We gotta make a damn near we gotta damn near cause a revolt if Jerry West is not on known. Jerry West has to be. Danny Myers, dudes like this, they put in a lot of work. I don't wanna see the same motherfuckers, yo, that we be seeing on every chart. <coughs> I'm just saying, some of these niggas, we gotta really, really, really you got for smack, yo. You gotta weed some of these niggas out, man. I'm telling you, man. You gotta, you, I'm yo. I'm told I ain't got no part in nothing y'all got going on. I'm just looking from the outside in, my nigga. I just wanna see good battles. You gotta weed some of these niggas out that ain't going, that you know ain't gonna bring it, that's gonna halfway bring it, that's gonna choke, that's gonna stumble, man. You gotta get these niggas about the way. That they, they got them. They can stand on stage and shit. You can still give them some stage passes. You can still let niggas come through for the rumble and all of that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. They could come through, they could chill, hang out, smoke on stage, have fun. But them niggas do not, some of them niggas do not need to be rapping. <laughs> no, Jerry West needs to be rapping. <laughs> Danny Myers and them type of niggas need to be rapping. You know what I'm saying? Cause uh, you can't be not rewarding them and these other niggas is just, just running them up. You know what I'm saying? And they just know they're gonna be on the next card, next card, next card, next card. But for the sake of our argument, I'm hoping that uh Noam is uh you know what I'm saying? I, I think that uh I would hope that Noam is good, you know what I'm saying? For the sake of battle rap, you know what I'm saying? Because battle rap needs they need big they need big moments like that. A lot of dope people and battles have been created uh on gnomes, you know what I'm saying, and, and I think it's big for the culture. Um, again, like I said, uh, Loaded Lux interview is coming out. I'm not gonna give away like way too much of what happened or what we spoke about or how things went down, you know what I'm saying, but I will tell you, all positive vibe, all dope energy, you know what I'm saying, and it really, really, really went phenomenal, you know what I'm saying, but um, let me get it, before I get out of here, let me give y'all some game real quick, you know what I'm saying, people be asking me to give more game, you know, every now and then. So I was going to talk about the streets, you know what I'm saying? I seen an interview yesterday with, well not an interview, Floyd Mayweather and um, Haney's father, Bill Haney on the internet, they're going back and forth and shit, they talking on the, um, Instagram. And he was saying that I'm still a street nigga, I'm in the streets, I'm in the streets and all this other shit. It's like, bro, <laughs> yo, y'all gotta realize, man, if you a street nigga and you have kids, you don't want your kids to be street niggas, man. Ain't no fucking way. Like, we, we not here to repeat the cycle. We are not here to repeat the cycle, bro. You want your kids to be squares. Go get a job. Go get an education. Like, shit like that. Like, we not out here. Because there's enough shit out here that's going that's, that could fuck your kids up anyway. Whether it be the streets. Whether it be gangs. Whether it be random shots. These niggas nowadays, they shooting out here with switches. They shot the bus stop up in Philly. Shot seven, eight people. They shooting everywhere nowadays. So you really got to look out for them even more. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just saying, like, that whole street nigga, street, bro, I ain't no street nigga. I don't want my kids to be no street niggas. Absolutely not. There's a difference between being street niggas and being street smart. Street smart is good. Street smart is knowing what goes on in the streets, what can happen in the streets, where to be, where not to be, how to move, how to not be around somebody that you feel. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's just knowing, you know what I'm saying, not to go to this party, not to go to that party. 
that house, this thing, you know what I'm saying? It's just knowing how to move. That's being street smart. I would definitely suggest your kids be that. But being a street nigga, man, hell no, man. Motherfuckers be throwing their lives away, man. I'm telling you. I got a partner, <laughs> his girl's son is doing seven years in jail, right? Because he got into a car accident, you know what I'm saying? Somebody died and they found guns and all the other shit, right? Vehicular harm, all this other shit, right? She said, yo, he's like 18, 19, bro. This nigga doing seven years in jail. He called home crying every fucking day, bro. This nigga don't want to be in jail. He's getting hot outside. His girl was pregnant. All the other, like, niggas be stressed, bro. They be stressed. <laughs> like, you know, I tell motherfuckers all the time, man. Yo, when it, you, <laughs> listen, if you doing the wrong thing, man, or your kids need to see some shit, man, tell them, man. Tell your kids. I tell people all the time because I be talking to people's kids and talking to four kids, you know what I'm saying? Like, Imagine somebody take your phone and tell you, boom, you're going away for the next three years, dog. Like, you don't want that, bro. You do not want it. So people be saying stuff like, vibe this, vibe, bro. I went to the military. I did not want it, bro. I don't want nothing that comes with it. So, you know what I mean? It's, it's getting warm outside. You know what I'm saying? Y'all might want to move smart because you know, in the hood, summertime is the killing season. It's hot out, this bitch. That's a good enough reason. Gang, gang. Grah.